and there, but countless memories we will always share. What high school will bring cannot be foreseen. My ode to the class of 2017. Field hockey season was one of the best, though that isn't quite what the scores might suggest. In one scrimmage, every error meant five push-ups. After my 50th one, it was hard to get up. Running to the ice cream smith was always a blast, but it was the pouring rain that made us go fast. From secret sites to scavenger hunts, the field hockey team knew how to have fun. I will certainly miss our Latin class. There were many quizzes, but lots of laughs. I always looked forward to the word of the day. Jokes about the ditch where the Cornelians just stay. We all share abandoned finish sheets from last year and yelling purple on the smart board with our peers. Of many and beautiful gifts, the textbook was quite a fan. Though my favorite phrase would have to be, surely the man. <laughs> At this point, I have learned whither and thither, but the real question is, what's a hither? <laughs> and I'll never forget that first science test. Let's just say dimensional analysis wasn't my best. IPS experiments could actually be quite fun. When Caleb and I started a fire, was my most memorable one. I think it's safe to say that in science we had to work hard. However, good results were always a reward. I'm sad that World Cultures is almost completed. With Marshall, Christina, and Caleb, debates got heated. <laughs> For current events, I was very glad. But when Marshall knew more about mine than I did, it was kind of sad. <laughs> General GG became a new name for Miss Gray, and Christina's various accents never failed to brighten my day. <coughs> I loved spending my winter afternoons here in Oz, and the fabulous company was the cause. The witch melt was a little rough, as you can probably see, but it was quite hard when the tinsel would only stick to EC. <laughs> Scenes were so much more fun with a Shawnee and Jilly by my side. You two made me laugh so hard, I almost cried. We were blocking right up to that opening night, but when it all came together, it was an amazing sight. My memories of math class can never disappear, and we will all miss Miss Timblow next year. When Kayla fell on the floor, overcome by laughter, we were lucky that she took pictures to look at us. <laughs> <laughs> the switch from girls to regular English came as a shock. In Socratics, it could be scary to talk. I was so grateful for Anne, Claire, and Thea, my female allies, when discussions were a war zone for the guys. However, English class was one of the best parts of my day, and Mr. Palmore really is as great as they say. Last but not least is softball this spring. I could never have guessed how much fun it would bring. When I began, there was nothing I knew. Thankfully, Claire helped me get through. However clueless I managed to be, neither the coaches nor my team gave up on me. I remember feeling nervous when my talk was even mentioned. No thanks to Lydia, who I quote, your last, that sucks. No one will be paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out that isn't what makes it so easy for this spot to intimidate. It is having to follow my classmates, who are also great. So thank you for listening to my journey through this year. But this is an ode to us, not to me. I hope that that is clear. As our grade more than triples in the fall, I hope shared experiences like these will still recall. So a thank you to everyone, I'd like to say, because you all mean so much to me, all in different ways. Anne gave me confidence in English class. Ginny gives hugs to anyone who may pass. Jacob is the most friendly person I've ever met. Harry is the craziest person to live yet. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Burke is never afraid, and will be put up with the girls in seventh grade. <laughs>
gives out high fives. Emily Jane's supply of everything in her locker has saved lives. <laughs> Jilly is tearful every day. Brett always has something to say. Walter and Buster are much more fun. And Will Pinson's is a friend to everyone. Logan's pessimism is really quite funny. <laughs> <laughs> participated in as many as you could. The first award is we got the plaque for the highest achieving team, which means that the top 10 scorers, about 30 of you took part, the top 10 scorers comprised our team, and we got in the top 10% of teams worldwide. Woo! Wow. for our highest individual score in the school, and that goes to Alina Tadani. <laughs> Worldwide, and we have six in that group. Uh, 
Um, and they are, we'll do single clap. James Dunn, Logan Troy, Ann Bailey, Casey Delano, Maddie Tyler,